In the next 10 minutes, I'm gonna give you three winning no-code SaaS ideas that you can start today and take advantage of fully in 2023. There's never been a better time to start a no-code SaaS than right now with all the new no-code tools and the development of them, AI, and all the other resources that you have available to you. I personally haven't coded a single day in my life, and yet I've still been able to build multiple successful software companies in just the last few years. So what's really important is the idea and how much people need it, the problem it solves, and the demand that the market requires of it. That is what is going to determine your success. So in this video, I'm going to give you three ideas that you can use or just use for inspiration so that way you can be on your way to starting your own no code SaaS in 2023 and racing towards a million dollar valuation. So like the video right now, subscribe to the channel and comment three if you're going to be applying the information that I'm teaching you in this video. So let's dive in. The first idea that I have for you is a niche CRM and a CRM it means customer relationship management and it's what companies use to keep track of their prospects. Remember who they've been talking to, who's close to closing or becoming a client. And there's a lot of big industry leaders out there like HubSpot, Pipedrive, Salesforce, etc. And yes, those are giant companies that have the majority of the market share. But I've seen people do very, very well creating a CRM for a very specific and small niche. And so I'll give you an example is I know someone that made a very niche CRM that's only for roofing companies. And so the CRM is built in a way that it's specific to be advantageous to roofers. And so this person that I know, they're very familiar with the roofing industry. And so they, they basically just realize from being inside of that market that there are a few things with you know your HubSpot, your pipe drive, your Salesforce that is ineffective for roofing companies. So they just took this one little change, they added one new feature, added it to a new CRM that has all the other same features as the other ones. They just made one tweak to make it specific to roofing companies and they just marketed it to roofers and they did extremely, extremely well. They built a multi-million dollar company by serving this one small niche. This is a good idea too, because CRMs will always be relevant. There's never gonna be a time where business owners don't need to know you know what their leads are up to who they last talked to who's close to becoming a client they will always be relevant in any market condition so how can you build this i would recommend using either softer or bubble they both are going to have templates for you to build crms um, softer is more beginner friendly so if you're not a very techie person like me then i would choose softer it's pretty drag and drop it's very easy to do so if you're a beginner you're not very techie or you could still pay a softer dev off of like upwork or fiber and it would be pretty inexpensive. It would be like probably between $1,500 and $2,000, which I know is still a bit of money, but it's much less than if it were to be on Bubble, for example. But if you are a more advanced or techie person or you just want to learn it, I would use Bubble.io and you'll be able to build a much more robust and you'll be able to build a better product. But like I said, it's a steep learning curve. And if you were to pay a development agency, it would probably run you between 10 to 15 grand to get an MVP. But that is the action items of how you'd go about building the first idea. The second idea I'm going to give you is some sort of analytics dashboard. And so, for example, one of the companies that I sold, Trackify, was a better way to visualize your sales team's um, data. So basically how many you know, calls they've taken, their close rate, and then we added in like leaderboards. But all it was was it was data that was coming in from their CRM. And so we had an API uh, connection there. And so the data would come in from the CRM into Trackify, which was basically a more beautiful way to display the data than just using you know Google Sheets and Google Forms. And yeah, we ended up adding a few other bells and whistles later on, but its core functionality was be a better way to give you an overview of all of your data. And I've seen a lot of people crush it doing this model. For example, I have another friend that his software is, he has a dashboard that it basically just connects to, for example, your investment account. So like maybe your Charles Schwab and, and it connects to your bank account um, and some of you like your Robin Hood. And so basically you can see all of your different investments and all of your money in one place. So that way, instead of having to log into each thing to track individually, you can log into one dashboard, see all your finances, and then there's graphs and stuff to see how it performs over time. So it helps you see trends, it saves you some time, it's more aesthetic, and believe it or not, people will pay for this without a problem. I also know people have done this for social media. So again, they connect to Instagram, they connect to you know Twitter, um, I don't know if TikTok has their API public yet, but just so that way you can see your growth over time on your different social medias. 
Um, and again, you graph it out. It just It's a prettier way to display data, and this can do very, very well. Again, I've seen it time and time again, and it's a pretty easy one to build. So again, I would use, I'm always gonna recommend Bubble if you're able to, because it is the best no-code builder. Um, but again, if not, you can still use a softer. Um, Make.com is pretty easy to use as well, in my opinion. Um, Flutterflow has been impressing me recently. So look into these different tools to build something like this. And the third and final idea that I'm going to give you is a fine-tuned GPT-3 model of some sort. And so all this means is you are going to take a data set of some sort and you're going to train essentially chat GPT to basically be able to write or sound like some sort of data set that you gave it. So to give you an example, I might have used this before, is I trained a GPT-3 model to generate LinkedIn posts that sounded exactly like the 200 most engaged with B2B posts that I could find online. So basically, I would take LinkedIn posts from you know your Alex Formoses, um, Will Cannon, and Alex Berman, and I would train the model off of their posts so that we would learn to write more like them, and then you connect it to a front end, I connected it to software, and you can sell this to people like you know I was selling it to business owners I was saying hey you know if you want to save time generating LinkedIn posts that sound just like the top creators that are gonna drive more revenue to your business or more leads for your business then they can pay me on a subscription basis or usage basis and so that was a really easy thing to do as well and I'll tell you how to do it so you could do this to train a model to create you know short form content hooks you can do it train it to you know do seo optimized blogs the sky is really the limit but what you have to do first is you have to prepare the data so to train a model you need both prompts and completions and so you know a prompt would be like hey write me a linkedin post on how to build a commission only sales team with the ending call to action to dm me or something and then the completion would be finding you know the linkedin post from alex hormozzi or whoever wrote that and that would be the completion and you need a couple hundred prompts and completions to really accurately train this model now once you have the prompts and completions then you can actually go and train the model and now guys if you are going to train a model it can be a little bit difficult and so what i'm actually doing is i'm actually building a tool that's going to help you write your prompts and completions and it's also then going to you're just going to upload your prompts and completions into our tool and it'll give you the trained model right there inside of our inside of our tool. And so this will be done in about two to four weeks. So if you subscribe to my newsletter and I'll put the link in the comments, everyone there will have first access to this tool when it's ready. Once you've trained your model, then you just need to connect it to a front end or to have a user interface. And so again, I use software here. It's super easy to connect to OpenAI. You literally just go into integrations, find OpenAI, and then you put in your API key. It's super easy. Again, I literally built a fine tuned model and connected it to software in a day. So again, guys, this is a great opportunity right now because it's pretty easy to do. AI is hot right now and it still provides a lot of value if you train a model well. So those are my three ideas for you guys. Comment below which idea was your favorite and which one you'll be doing. Again, if you sign up to my newsletter in the description, you'll be the first ones to get access to my tool to train models once it's available. I appreciate you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.